Hi, I'm Bridget at Bridget Marie Energy Design, and I am here to walk you through my Notion ADHD dash. I'm very excited that you're here, and I'm happy to be on this journey with you. So let's hop into it. So the first thing here, this video is going to live inside this little toggle here at the top, so you can hide it to reference later. And then first up, we have our ADHD journey life intentions and interests and strengths in these gray boxes. So you can go ahead and add in your own intentions and interests and strengths. I find that uh, setting intentions helps me really come to clarity, which helps me have more confidence on on my own journey and whatever I'm doing. So I think that that's a really important step to to have in this. And then keeping in mind our interests and strengths is important to any ADHD neurodivergent brain. Um, just learning to live with ourselves in the way that we do work and work with ourselves in that way is really important. And so you can go ahead and click inside these boxes. And if you hold down shift on your keyboard and then enter, you can enter down into a next line. Because if you just hit enter on its own, um, you'll get outside of the box there. So I also have, if you maybe don't know where to start with your strengths, you can click this toggle here below that says drop your via character strengths inside. If you go to this website here, you can take their little personality strengths quiz. And that could be a really great jumping off point for you to discovering your strengths and seeing what they are. And I like it tucked away nice, nicely here in this toggle so it's not distracting, but it's there when I need it. All right, the next section, we have the weekly check for medication. So if you're taking any medication or supplements and you'd like to keep track of when you take it each day to mark it off and, and know that you took it, you can go ahead and click these check boxes when you take your medication. I have a weekly check list for if you take it twice a day. I also, in a toggle here, I have check boxes for once daily. Let me open this up a little bit so you can see the boxes. Okay, so this is if you take it once daily, twice daily, and then, and you can drag and drop these anywhere. Um, what I love about Notion, super customizable. If you are new to it, you can head over to YouTube, Google, Reddit, they have tons of resources so you can learn how to customize it for yourself. But anything, you can drag and drop, change the colors. It's cool. So I'm going to get this out of the way here, close that toggle. But so at the end of the week, you've checked all of your boxes. And now what I've done for you is this here where it says plus new week check boxes. If you put your mouse here, it says configure template. So you can see that this right here is a template. So when you click on it on Sunday, you're going to click there and it is going to pop you up a brand new list for the week. And you can go ahead and delete the old one, get that out of there. And then boom, you're ready to go again. And if ever you wanted to edit that template, you can click that little button and make all your edits in there. Next section here is the self care toolkit. So these are some non-medication resources that could come in handy. And I like to use them if I'm having trouble struggling in any way. I just kind of go see where, take a moment, check in with myself, see where I'm at in one of these lists. Do I need something that is maybe physical rest? Do I need something that is more rejuvenating? Am I trying to fall asleep? So once I determine which category I fall under, then I, I pick one of these things to do in the moment. And this is also fully customizable. You can add your own and you can click inside any of them 
change them, change the emoji, change which list they're on, or add them to multiple lists, and delete the ones you don't like, add in your own. This is your uh, permission slip to experiment, have fun, see what works for you, see what doesn't work for you. And you can switch up the view here. I also have a list so you can see everything and you can see what list they're on. And you can add your own views as well. All right, so next up is the medication and supplement tracker, which I also have a database for any questions or information for your doctor. So if you scroll over here to the right, you can see the rest of this table. Go back. And in the questions one, you can have a standalone question like the second one, or like the first one, you can go ahead and relate it to a medication that is inside of this first table here. So if we go ahead and open our first medication, you can see all of the information that's in the table. Now you can go ahead and fill out all of that information. You can add your own properties if you want to keep track of something else. And in all of these medications, you can mark, are you currently taking it or did you previously take it? So then when you scroll down, I have a template set up that will give you a log where you can keep track of specifics related to this medication. You can keep track of your dosages, what happened when you took that, your med appointments. You can open any of this up to put in more details there to keep track of it. And then we'll just go back and scroll down a little bit more. And I also have a view of this questions database from the main page that is filtered specifically for this medication. So you'll see any questions there that are related to this medication. And here you can keep track of the date that you wrote the question down, the date that you discussed it on, and if it's answered or not. All right, so we'll go back to the main page. And these are sorted by different views. We have a current view. You can look at your previous medications. I don't have any listed here. And then you can look at a list of all of them. And these ones, current and previous, are filtered by the status. So if your status is current or previous. And then this one here, the questions database is, we have an outstanding question. So ones that have not been answered. We've got one for all and one for ones that have been answered. And these ones are filtered by the answer checkbox. So you can keep track of all of those there. And when you want to add a new medication, you can click new or an easy way to get to that template is going up to this blue new, hit the arrow, hit med template, and it comes up with the new template here. We're gonna call it new medication. And it should already pre-populate with this, but in case it doesn't, you can click that and oops, it looks like it double did it there. All right. Here we go, this is what it will look like. So it'll have your med dose. So this is where you can go ahead and start adding in your details here, date and my notes and any questions and it's already automatically filtered to this medication. Cool. So fill out all your details. I am currently taking this new one and you go back and it will show up in here. Perfect. All right. So then the next section is resources. These are just some external resources for more information uh, that are either directly related to ADHD or maybe just adjacent resources that I have found to be helpful on my own journey. So I've also added in some of my favorite uh, 
inspirational audios or meditations in here too. So I think those are really cool. But this here is, and you can go over to the right to see the rest of the table there. And if you open any of these up, you can see all the information. So you can read the whole summary, go to the URL. And if there's a picture, it would be here. And then this is also where I would suggest inside here, you can go ahead and type in any of your notes here. So if you read the book and want to take some notes or listen to the podcast, you can keep all of your information right there in one place. There's also a status column. So if you want to keep track of where you are, if you are reading it or listening to it right now, or if you want to do it next, um, or if you're finished with it. And then I've added in some tags that you can start with. You can add your own, but maybe if you want to categorize any of the resources, you can do it that way. There are also some other views, some gallery views that are specifically filtered. So this one is for books. It's specifically filtered where the type is book. And this is where if it has a photo, it'll show up. And so if you really like photos in there, you can go ahead and add the photos into the rest of them. And then at the bottom here, I just went ahead and included a really short version of my ADHD story so that you can maybe get some inspiration and see yourself in little bits of my story. And oh, hopefully it will just help to support you along your own path. And I, I also hope that in this area you could write your own story. So, um, you know, just uh, write it all out and it can be kind of like a cathartic process. And I hope that you find some, some healing and, and recognition in that as well. Thanks for being here.